I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use end screens on YouTube. A good video gives the viewers some kind of next step. Maybe you want them to make a purchase, learn more, or just visit your website. YouTube end screens can help with this, and I'm going to show you how to do that next. End screens let you engage with viewers right as your video ends. End screens work in the last 20 seconds of your YouTube video. To get started using end screens, log on to your YouTube account and then click your channel icon. Then select the Creator Studio icon. Next, on the left side of the screen, click the Video Manager. Now select the video you'd like to add an end screen to and click the Edit button. You'll see some of these tabs across the page. One of them says End Screens, or it may say End Screens and Annotations. Annotations will be removed on May 2nd, 2017, so you don't need to worry about that option. You can see that you have a few options for different elements that you can add to end screens. You can add a video or a playlist. You can subscribe, promote another channel, or you can add a link to an approved website. One thing I find interesting is that you can't add an end screen without adding a link to another video or playlist. This goes back to the idea that YouTube wants to keep everyone on the site longer. One thing I don't like about end screens is the subscribe button because it uses your channel icon. I don't think most viewers are going to know what that button is for. This is why you need to add a title to it in your editing software. When you are editing your video, you should plan in your edit where the end screen will go and add some text in that area because the icons are not instantly recognizable as to what they mean. When you're adding a video or a playlist, you can choose from the most recent upload or what YouTube feels is the best for the viewer. You can also select a video or a playlist. If you want to learn more about how to create a playlist, I made a video about this. You can find a link above in the card or below in the description. My favorite option is that you can let YouTube choose what video is best for the viewer to see next. A lot of users are reporting that this feature works great and they're getting a higher click rate than if they were recommending the next video themselves. YouTube also provides analytics so you can see how well your end screens are working. Once you're done editing your end screens, you can preview what you've done, then click save and you're all done. I hope this helps you grow your business with video. I invite you to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a like, comment, or share. Come back every week for new videos and you can visit our website at millerfarmmedia.com for more information.